we come to the special feature of our program for the second time tonight. It'll be the appearance of a mystery celebrity. My friends in the panel once again have their blindfolds on. They're all in place, are they, panel? Yes, yes sir. sir. Good. Yes. Will you come in, mystery challenger, and sign in, please? As you know, in the case of our mystery challenger, we dispense with all of the preliminaries again, get right down to the general questioning, which we will begin with Miss Arlene Francis. Are you Dorothy Kilgallen's mother? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a member of the entertainment world? Yes, brother. <laughs> Are you uh, a performer? Yes. <laughs> Are you, uh, have you appeared in pictures? On occasion. <laughs> Do I detect something other than an American accent? I should think, unless you were quite stupid. Thank heaven I detected it, Matt Don't want to mislead you, Miss Arlene. You do detect same. Well, are you, by any chance, not an American? Quite. Are you an Englishman? On my mother's side, rather, yes. <laughs> Have you appeared in uh, nightclubs? Never. Never? Oh, well, then it isn't too Never. Honest. Do you have an offer? <laughs> <laughs> I certainly would want to have an offer to have him appear here in America. Now, that's one thousand nine to go, and I think perhaps there's an area in which you might have been misled somewhat. Our guest is American-born. Oh, I'm sorry. And he was, um, as we heard, uh, partially English only by reason of his uh, mother's birth. Uh, that makes it one down and nine to go, Mr. Sir. Well, in other words, that English accent then was uh, one that you affected just to fool us on this program. Is that correct? Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> 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 and uh, was that a feat performance uh, also affected? And is that tough voice that I just heard more normal than the other one? <laughs> I think that would be relevant for you to decide. I should think no would be the answer. Well, I think no is the answer. Two down and eight to go, Miss Truman. Did we establish that he's a performer? What else? Yes. <laughs> uh, he's a performer. In movies? On occasion, yes, Miss Truman. Uh, have you also performed on television? Yes, occasionally. I don't like this. Um, <laughs> uh, do you perform on television regularly? No. That's three down and seven to go, Mr. Allen. Might you be described as a leading man? Thank you very much, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seemly modesty here. Yes, Steve. Uh, are you predominantly that, rather than also a singer or a trumpet player or something of that sort? You're predominant there, Lynn. Predominant. Are you accustomed to dealing in comedy? No. Not basically. I think we'd give you a no there. Four down and six to go, Miss Francis. Are you appearing at the present time in a play in New York? No. Five down and five to go, Mr. Sir. Do, do you do anything else beside act? No. Six no. down and four to go, Miss Truman. He, he doesn't appear... Uh. <laughs> uh, let's see. Find out if he's a living American. <laughs> I hear that. What? <laughs> what did you say, Steve? He said to find... Steve said to find out if he was a living American. <laughs> <laughs> I often ask myself. <laughs> Distinguish any timbre in his voice. Um, you act primarily then in uh, tragedy, 
as long as you don't do comedy so much? I mean, or, or um, straight plays and straight television, straight movies, things like that? Take them so much, I mix them up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Does a little Danny bit of all Kay of it. doesn't have an English mother, does he? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hmm. He does all of them, then. You do comedy, drama. Oh, yeah, I love him. <laughs> sounds to me like a comedian. <laughs> um, you're a leading man. Yeah. Have you been on Broadway recently? No. Oh, what do you mean by recently? Well, within this past season. No. Yeah. That's seven down and three to go, Mr. Allen. Have you made a uh, motion picture in the last year that we might have seen fairly recently? Yes. Hmm. Was it in black and white? <laughs> yes. <laughs> dear, 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 dear. Are you over 25? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Allen. That's as far as I go, but I just wanted to rule out uh, the Bobby Sox group. <laughs> Do you have uh, dark hair rather than light? None. Yes! Oh, my goodness. Do you have brown eyes? Yes! <laughs> so far, you might be me. I don't know. <laughs> uh, was your picture made in Europe? I beg your pardon, was, was the recent picture to which we're referring filmed in Europe? New. Eight now to two to go, Miss Francis. Have you been in films? I for... beg your pardon, it was. It's quick, quick. Oh, it was. Oh, no. quick, quick. I... Sorry, old boy. We were sitting here, Mr. Gregory. Back up the hill. Quick, we say. Eight now to three to go, Mr. <laughs> Allen. You're still on dock, as we say. I certainly I am. <laughs> was your film made in Italy? New. That makes it eight down and two to go, Miss Francis. Have you been in pictures for a long time? Ooh, ever so long. <laughs> more than ten years. Ooh, much more. <laughs> Do ladies swoon over you in pictures? No! <laughs> All right, that makes it... Nine down and one to go, Mr. Sir. Well, I'm a slender reed. I haven't the vaguest idea. Was the picture made in England that you made? New. Margaret. Did it? Well, no, no, Miss Margaret has Margaret a, a weedy, I uh, think. Did you start out your career in radio? New. <laughs> that makes it <laughs> 11 down and certainly no more to go. Panel, why don't you unmask and see who we've got? Jolly good luck to you. Oh. Oh. Stay with me, Stay with me. Oh. <laughs> I think, as we all know, Frederick Marsh is one of those great talents and those great artists who has won the Academy Award twice. He's going to actually going to preside over the Academy Awards Thursday night. Thursday night of this week. But I think we have seen here an example of the simple and fine talents which have made him an Academy Award winner twice. Thank you. <laughs>